Hello, you join me in Fife out on the NT1100 having a good time, the day is lovely, it's about 16 degrees it's a Saturday morning, I've taken advantage of the Saturday morning weather a um, lot of rain lately just, this is just a quick update on my camera situation the DJI Action 3 developed a bit of a fault. I'll insert it now and let you have a listen. So you can hear that chirping. It only happened twice and it went away as quick as it came. However, it's under warranty. And I got in touch with DJI, sent it back, went back to the Netherlands, that's where the repair centre is. <clears throat> and I had another camera back within eight days, which I think you will agree is pretty damn impressive <clears throat> turns out there was some module that had a fault on it I got <clears throat> excuse me I got a, a replacement sent that looked like a brand new one it was in a retail box, it was the shrink wrapped when you opened it and took it out. It had all the manufacturing stickers on it. I, I do wonder if it was a, a remanufactured, uh, refurbished, faulty camera <coughs> that went through the manufacturing process again because there was no accessories or stuff like that inside the retail box, it was just the camera. But nonetheless, it looks and feels like a brand new camera. And it works absolutely fine. The <coughs> serial number's different, so when you have to initialise this camera, it was default and it went through the upgrade process. So now I've got <coughs> Three cameras registered against me. The DJI that I've lost, the DJI that three that went faulty, and now the new new one. All good. Looking pretty good. Normally when I've come down here, it's been like just a mud heap. Normally on the NC, but I thought I'd bring you down here today. Let you have a look at it. I don't think I've shared this one with you before. So very happy. Got the camera on following my last video about where do you prefer you can see that I've got it on the chin and all looking good we're going to go past that church over there we're going to head up that way and we get brilliant views when we go down the other side so the DJ, DJI action is back it's working and I'm recording with it <coughs> which is all good In other camera news, I have bought a used original DJI, the DJI one. Now, I huffed and haved about whether or not I would buy a brand new one, a 3 or the old one, but I've got a few accessories that fit that camera, <coughs> such as extra batteries etc, and I thought Nobody will ever buy them, they're worthless, so rather than see a waste and save myself a bit of money, I bought one off of eBay. Now this one is described as only being used twice. Um, it does look immaculate from the pictures. <coughs> I've borrowed it through eBay, eBay if so if there's a problem with it and it's not as described, it'll go back. So that comes 
in on Monday. I don't have it yet. I've just bought it, but it comes Monday. I got a I got an email from Royal Mail today saying it'll be delivered between twelve and one on Monday. This is Saturday morning. So all good there. Yeah, there's that church. And some terrific views, the fields are looking great. A mixture of greens and browns. Beautiful blue sky with cloud not meant to rain today so that that's that's actually me up to that's me up to full strength now for my DTI which is great <coughs> love that a bit that was my second attempt at buying a camera I had purchased a camera well that one cost me 170 pounds with accessories and other bits and pieces waterproof case etc. Extra batteries uh, and a carry pouch. Thank you. Um, <coughs> there was a site, I can't remember what it's called, that you can buy used camera equipment, not just action cameras but they've got drones and digital cameras there's an old derelict uh, building now I've never been down there and it comes out at the other side I'm going to do that one day not today though so do, 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 where was I yes I did buy a camera I bought it for including postage £140 and essentially it came as a base camera with a single battery and nothing else. No charging, no dock, no case, no carry case, no cradle, no nothing. And that was £140 with with postage. As opposed to the one that I ended up with, which was £170 pounds in good and postage. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by the scenery. I'm loving it. <coughs> now, the people that I bought it off of got in touch with me two days later and said, "I'm sorry, we can't send out the we can't send out the the item." As we've tested it before it goes, it goes out and we found it to be faulty. So they refunded my money and they didn't have another camera so <coughs> I think it's actually, well we'll see once I get it but it feels like it's worked out a little bit better for an extra 30 quid. So that's camera news, that's me back to where I am. I've got a little trip planned towards the end of August uh, I shall share that in due course but uh, ferries booked <coughs> accommodation booked it's only for four nights so it's not a not a huge trip but one I've been looking forward to making for a heck of a long time now then, we're about to be treated to an absolutely stunning view because we're right up in the hills on the other side at Fife from where normally I am. I'm just going to stop. Let's suck it in. Let's have a chat about where we are. So, we're, we've come along. Dundee's just behind there. The edge of Dundee's there. Uh, the main dual carriageway between Dundee and Perth runs that way. And this is the River Tay. 
across there you see the Sidlaw Hills. Tide's kind of gone out. Don't know if it's going out or coming in, but it's low, that's for sure. Sun's out. Um, you absolutely won't see this, but behind there are the start of the glens and the Cairngorm National Park. But it's there, believe me, I can see it. What a view. Right, let's go and see it. You'll see another bit of the view as we go down. <coughs> Loving the NT1100. I've done a little thoughts on it. Uh, that video will come out in due course. And there is uh, a lovely view. Now, this is quite a steep descent. Um, there's a plate that tells you what it is in a minute. It's been a little while. There it is in front of us. It's been a little while since I've been here. Because the weather's been so rubbish. I tend to avoid it in the winter time for obvious reasons. There we are. We've got a 10% incline. There we go down. <coughs> but what views that you have from these houses. Absolutely magnificent. And I'll tell you something, if there was trees in front of my views, I'd be chopping the buggers down. <laughs> now at the bottom here, there's a house. And there's an old dog. Uh, and the first time I saw it... There we go. How do you like that? Oh, that's making me feel good, I've got to say. Yeah, so I was coming down and this thing, it was a big dog, just beside, uh, just up from the giveaway, was lying across the road.